Hello everyone and welcome back to Susa Place. It's time for GeoGuessr. So we will start a challenge. The seed will be in the video description so you can play along and show me how skilled you are at finding out where you are in the world. And I will do the same right now. Alright, we have some mixed forests. Driving on the right, it seems like. Yeah, this could be Europe, this could be... Well... It looks like Europe. Dot com, that doesn't help us. Environmental services, 815. I guess this could be North America then. It sounds like uh, perhaps a US phone number, but I'm not sure. Oh, what does that say? There's a sign there. Let's see if there were some hints. Acre five, seven acre estate sites. They use dollars. So, well, that makes it more likely that we are in North America, of course. I do believe they do use dollars in both Canada and the US and also in Australia but since that guy was driving on the right side of the road I don't think we are in Australia now Hales Corner and Skinner are these roads the road grid is aligned to the compass directions houses yeah I'm gonna say North America uh, US actually it doesn't look like Canada, it looks like it's a little bit too temperate. Could be very southern Canada, Canada maybe, but... Yeah, I would have to guess Minnesota or East Coast, US. Hopefully we'll get to a road with some towns or cities. What's this? It's like a green blob on the camera. Okay. Broken water softener. Alright, we don't need that. So now, which states would you need water softeners? Railroad crossing. Rough crossing, even. Alright, well that looks very rough, if, if the train is going to pass that, it's going to have a lot of derailings in that crossing. So we have the red barn here. Um, well, I haven't found anything super obvious. I'm going to guess we're in this area here. Maybe we're in uh, Wisconsin, maybe we're in Minnesota. I can't tell though. What's this? Smoke signals. I can't read smoke signals. What just happened? Looks like we warped somewhere there. That sign said west. Oh, one forward then. West Illinois. Well, thank you. So Illinois is the correct answer. 72. Now I don't know where in Illinois we are. I'm going to click the very middle of Illinois and then I'm going to look around a little bit for the 72. I think it would be one of these. So this one goes west, east. Let's do like this then. It's not a highway. It's one of those these 72 is this one so we're in northern illinois now where exactly prairie moon autumn wood what's this one say camp mccormick can we find that in 20 seconds camp mccormick 
Leaf River, Headline, Forreston, Shannon. Okay, I'm going to go the other way. Kirkland, Kingston, Genoa, New Lebanon. I didn't get it. Um, but we were very close to it, actually. I guess we headed out this road and then got on the 72 maybe over here. And Camp McCormick would have been somewhere around here. Well, never mind. Uh, good score to start off. Here we have hills with lots of grass. This don't look like the American road signs. This could be, well, I'm guessing either Britain or New Zealand because of the grass covered hills. Let's see the arrows. It could be on the left side of the road. No, that's probably on the right side. Two woods. A hundred something kilometers per hour. Oh wow, that's fast. So we're not in Britain then. I know they've started to use the metric system, but I'm not sure they would have kilometers per hour. We are driving on the left, so does that mean New Zealand then? Or it could still mean Britain. Let's see if we have some more clues. Those green kilometers per hour signs. I'm not sure I've seen those in Britain. Sunny Soundfr? Well, that's odd. That's really not sounding English. Kilometers. Maybe we're in New Zealand. Yellow lines on the edge of the road. Welcome to Kwasani Municipality. Kwasani. Well, that doesn't sound like Welsh or Scottish. But it could very well be New Zealand. Kwasani. So you have Te Anau Downs, sort of a mix between the original language of the area and English. So Kwasani, I don't know exactly where on New Zealand this would be. Maybe we should try and look for a road number. Mangamaunu. I'm going to put the marker down somewhere in the middle of New Zealand there. And then we're going to drive on and find a larger road, hopefully. Another sign. Might as well have a look. Mm, can't quite read it. No. Too bad. It looked like it had the information on it. Looks like these little white... Vans are very popular here. Very popular. Maybe they're even mandatory. There's a black one. I suppose there's always got to be a black sheep in the family. There's another. Well, that's a more of an SUV. Underberg. Oh, wow, this is South Africa. R617, very green part of South Africa. Nadim's of a community conservatory. It's another one. It's the one that said, not the Kruger Na National Park. Okay, let's put the marker in South Africa. R617, that's not big enough for me to find, I'm pretty sure. Now, I don't Remember that other sign? Something Kwa Sami, maybe? 
Underberg. Maybe I can find that. Haven't we seen that? I made a comment about Underhill. What's over here? Tandy, Laysmith, Bergville. That's close. Newcastle. Underhill. I mean, Underberg. There. 30 kilometers in the north direction. Is this the 617? Is this the 617? So we're down here, maybe? We drove a little bit in the t this direction already, so let's put us a little bit closer. Okay, we were pretty f much farther, further away, but uh, I underestimated the 30 kilometers. Well, I was lucky that we found that road sign and I recognized the yellow and green. Alright, South Africa. Yeah, they also drive on the left. New Zealand would have been a terrible guess. Anyway. Kwamata Great Place. Kwamata Basin. We're driving on the left again. There's a guy there. Okay, what does this say? Construction. Uh, infrastructure grant, department, not anything about what country we're in. Is this South Africa again? It's the same uh, style of road. Oh, well. Queenstown and Kofim Vaba on road 61. I'm going to put the marker down in the middle of South Africa. And then I'm going to look for... Queenstown, Queenstown, Port Elizabeth, East London, Durban. Is it Queenstown a rather large city? Okay, not that large. Zoom in a little bit. We have lots of time this time. Um, Cape Town. Port Elizabeth. Well, Elizabeth is a queen, but I don't think that's Queenstown. Kofim Wabal might have... Uh, there's Queenstown. So which one is the 61 here? It's this one. Does that one continue on this side? It does. So Queenstown is to the west. That would mean that we're on this side of Queenstown. Where is... Kofim... Kofim Wamba. Kofim Wabba. It's along this road here. Well, it might be further off actually. Let's follow the 61 and see. Okay, if it goes all the way here, I'm not sure the 61 continues after this. So, Kofim Vamba, Kofim Vaba. This is Kradok. And Tarkastad and Amberdale and then we're in Queenstown. Hmm. Okay, I couldn't find Kofim Baba. I'm gonna put us on this road for now and we're gonna go this way and see if we find a distance marker. Or at least see how the road turns here. We're driving pretty, actually a little bit south, so sort of like there maybe, maybe around here. Then we're turning a little bit more west here, pretty sharp corner, 80. Maybe we should have looked at that other road. So we could have been driving south and now driving here. Does this one turn pretty sharply to the north now? Now it's turned to the south again. Okay, let's look at this one. It says Lady Frere and Kata. Lady Frere and Kata would be. We are driving. Now we're driving almost south. 
Maybe we're over here then. Lady Frer and Hang on. We are driving west. I'm an idiot. We're on this side of Queenstown. There's Coffin Baba. So we're somewhere in between here. Okay, uh, and we're headed towards Queenstown. So Lady Frere would be north of this road. And Kala as well. Somewhere before Kofimbamba. Kofimbaba. Cuba. Okay, we're driving pretty sharply south. We have to be around here, right? This is where it turns south. This is the road that would go to those places. But we started off maybe at this crossing. Or maybe even... Yeah, because I had everything upside down. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. 4987, we were a little bit further forward. It was that little road there. That was the place we started. The sign was over here, and then we saw this one. And this one would be the road that goes to... Oh, I can't find the other places. They're probably very small. Anyway, I got some west and east mixed up again. Or rather, the, we're driving west, so I think, oh, we we're west. But if we're driving west, then we're up to east. So we have here a horse and cart, satellite dish, some different colored houses. Hmm. This could be uh, Asia, maybe. That's not a pickup truck. That looks like a perhaps a Japanese car. But I don't think we're in Japan because this has um, maybe Spanish, maybe Portuguese. Could be South America then. It could be Mexico perhaps. Let's head out. This is north. Okay, what does this say? 249 Hermes U9. Politia. Yeah, it is. And a church. And a flag. That is the Romanian flag. Is it not? It could also be uh, Chad. But I think that's the Romanian flag. Politia. This doesn't really sound Romanian though. Well, it looks kind of Romanian. I'm gonna put the marker in Romania for now. And let's see. Alright, uh, remember, what was that? Oh, the road number. We could look if they have that blue or the red. Mm. Moldova have also the same flag. But, oh yeah, they have this, these sort of roads. Alright, well that's good. 249, Hermes U. Look, that uh, little uh, shield. But they have an R on them. I am going to put the marker in Moldova. I don't know much about Moldova. Hermes U. But Moldova is not very big, so we could perhaps have a good score even without finding Hermes U. Or the 249. It's probably a much smaller road. I'm just looking for Hermes U. Okay, let's zoom in a little bit further then. Let's see, can we... We look at these roads, do they have the numbering? No. Hermes U. Okay, maybe I should go where the districts are. I'm not going to be able to find Hermes U like this, I don't think. But 
let's continue this way and see if we can find any other signs. There are lots of houses where we are, so maybe we're in a well populated area. So that sign then, that wasn't Spanish or Portuguese, most likely. This one headed to, or the city we're entering is Saboloteni. Okay, let's zoom out a little bit and see if that's a large enough city to be easily found. I'm not certain. Saboloteni. Saboloteni. Alright, um, I can't see it. Moldova. Maybe we're not in Moldova. Saboloteni. Maybe we're close to the border. Well, if it was somewhere on the map, I missed it. And on this size, I can't really find anything. I thought we would be able to find something here. Saboloteni. Well, it, it looks like it could be one of these names. They don't look uh, different. There are lots of any. So, Moldova seems like a good guess. Ah, it was as I thought. We were right on the border to Moldova. Because their road numbers didn't go as high. There's Sabolotini. And that other place we were looking for must have been close as well. So this is the 249. You see, that's, there's Hermesiu, which is right on the border. Well, uh, not a bad guess then. The Romanian flag and the Moldovan flag are, have the similar colors. I think they have different marks on them, but those change over time. Anyway, 4,700. Happy about that. Here we have a basketball hoop. Actually a driveway, so you don't park on the lawn. Palm trees. Could this be like Florida, maybe? Henderson Street, Henderson Lane, sorry. And Shrimp Lane. Shrimp and Henderson. Okay, let's head this way. These are the proper driveways. Not pickup trucks. There are... This is a pedestrian crossing with a yellow sign. So it's not Europe. They're all blue. I don't know what this is. little blue plugs in the row there. Okay, NBA. Well, that's North America, but I mean the NBA franchise could have spread to other regions, most likely. Okay, I think we headed the wrong way here. No, this is a stop sign, so this is, would be a larger road with a worse camera, but it got better quickly. What's this say? Superiorpools.net Hmm. I would have to guess we're in southern US. Of course, this could be Australia as well. Can we find a road with someone driving on it? We're back where we started. Am I going in circles? There's a stop sign in every every region here. This one looks a little bit bigger. Let's see if we can get out of this area. And Oh, we're going back into the area again. Basketball sign. This is where we started, right? Yeah. Sort of. Okay, let's take this road then. It doesn't look bigger, but maybe we can get somewhere. Another one. Well, there's an American flag, so sudden US then. But which state? I said Florida, 
I'm gonna stick by that, but I'm gonna put it in the northern Florida in case we're in like Georgia or Alabama. Okay, let's move on. I was, was hoping to get to an actual road here, but this seems to be a end of the road here. Too bad. If we go over here then. It's like they all loop around and go back to the same place. I need to find the entrance to this uh, residential area. Or the exit. It's the same place. It's a stop sign, so this must be a larger road. Let's just follow the left here. It's a common tactic for dealing with mazes like this. Alright. Well, this looks like a pretty main road, doesn't it? Uh, okay, let's go left. Alright. I think we're... Uh, Madagascar Avenue. We're not on Madagascar, you're not fooling me. Spinner. Well, I just spun right around. There's the pickup truck, but basketball hoops everywhere. Okay, are we out yet? It's like it goes on forever. That's another American flag. X. X marks the spot. What do we win? There's a pickup truck. Is that the main thoroughfare? This looks like the main thoroughfare. It has lines on it. School. School zone. School don't have any clues for us. Is this the school? Security services. Well, eighteen seconds. I'm not gonna find any anything that tells us where we are now, unless I find one of those roads. Weight limit. Bridge. Speed limit forty. Okay, we were in Florida, so it's a good guess. We were close to. Port Charlotte, north of Port Charlotte, in this area here. I think we found, well, it wasn't the interstate, I think we might have found this one. Finally. Oh well. I couldn't get any any better hints there, so we lost a thousand points because of that. I'm not sure if I could have uh, gotten an exact lo location in Florida. Anyway. Oh, that's the end of it. What a great score. 23,580. And uh, that was pretty amazing. That's a new record for me. At least on this channel. I think it might even be a record for me overall. I don't uh, have... I haven't saved that number. But, yeah. Great run. I hope you liked the episode. And uh, I hope you had fun if you played along. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again next time.